So you see this? One of the street vendors put the bracelet on my shoulder and said, for free, a present. For free, it's a present. Then, about five seconds later, money. Give me the money. When I saw this video, oh my god, I wanted to... Because something very similar happened to me and my brother. I took my baby brother to Venice Boardwalk for some ice cream and a really nice day. We see this guy that comes up to us and is like, hey, hey, please wait. We just opened up a new museum. Do you guys want to check it out? It's an Egyptian uh, museum. I have always loved everything that has to do with the Egyptian culture. Picture for reference. So he goes, please come on in. It's completely free. We just want to show people our new museum. And I'm like, sure, yeah, let's go. While we go, we start looking around and the guy starts speaking up conversation with us. And he asked us our names. I told him my name and he said, oh, that's very unique. How do you spell that? I'm just like, oh, okay, thank you. And I spell it for him. Literally, while me and my brother are looking around and we're like, oh, well, thank you so much for showing us around. It's really beautiful. We'll see you later. He just so happened to show me like this really big painting. It was like a beautiful uh, ancient Egyptian painting with some letters on the top. And then he goes, here, it's a gift. And I was like, are you kidding me? He goes, no, it's a gift. I'm like, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much. He goes, yeah, but we already wrote your name on it. So you're going to have to pay for it. But you're just paying for the lettering, not the actual gift itself. And I was like, okay, well, I, I didn't ask for it. He goes, but we already put your name on it, so you have to pay for it. How much is it? He's like, well, usually the painting is like well over $100. But because we just put your name on it, it's going to be 60 And I was like, $60? I don't have $60. I only had enough money to take me and my brother out to this incredible day that I had planned for us. When I told him I didn't have the money, he looked at me so disappointed and angry. He's like, well, what do you have? I guess I have my debit card. He took me across the way to the ATM. He was literally standing right behind me as I was looking at my account to see how much I had. That along with whatever I had inside of my wallet. Was, and unfortunately, all I had was $47 on the dot. Him and that guy that like kind of like took us in just looked at each other and rolled their eyes and just handed it to me. When you get when you come back, you have to pay me the rest. And I was like, OK, sure. Now, mind you, I was just a student. Like I looked young, too, and he. Now that I'm an adult, I, I know that he knew that I, our entire day was shot because whatever money I had to make my brother's day super special was completely shot. I had no more money. I literally had not even a dime to my name anymore. I ended up not getting him ice cream that day. I ended up not making his day super special. And he never said anything to me. But while we were walking, like uh, glancing to him to this corner of my eye, and he just kind of stared at me in complete sadness. Because not because I didn't get him the ice cream, but because he knew that we were literally just like scammed. Even though I only lived like three blocks from there, I, I didn't go back for years in fear that that guy was going to see me again and be like, hey, you owe me some money. And I, I purposely didn't go to like what I always considered my backyard anyway for years. And when I finally did go back when I was already older and I was like ready to like tell him something just in case uh, that business was no longer there.